using the juice to distribute your content to the sales and marketing community? Well, now the HubSpot integration makes it possible to activate that and take your data a little bit further. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the juice and the HubSpot integration is set up, what that looks like on a company record, and then five ways to activate that integration to power your sales and marketing efforts. Let's dive in. So here I am logged into my profile on the juice. And if I drop this down in the top right, you'll see I've got the pages that I have access to. So we're just gonna do this for one page, but we'll show you here on the manage page, over on the left-hand side, we've got integrations. So when you click on integrations, it shows the Salesforce and the HubSpot integration. Now I've already got mine set up, but when you click on manage, if you haven't set this up yet, what you're going to do is you're going to enable it. It'll open up your HubSpot portal, ask you to authenticate just like any other integration would, and then you're set to go. So right now you'll see that I've got this integration enabled. And then here I can also monitor the calls to my instance to see what activities are happening in, in the portal. So if I click on view, you'll get a quick look at, this is the type of information that's coming over to HubSpot from the juice. So we've got a timeline event, we've got company properties updated. So let's take a look over in HubSpot as to how that warrants for a company record. So first of all, when you're set up in the juice, you will have a connected app here, just like you do with any other connected app in the HubSpot settings area. If I scroll down, you'll see that we've got the juice is set up here. So I'm gonna click into a company record here. Now this is one that has been created uh, as a result of the juice. And you'll see that we have, as far as an activity, when you filter your activity, it's gonna be here under integrations. So this is gonna vary in terms of what you see in your portal based on what integrations you have set up with your uh, instance. But we've got company was created, and then we have this particular company, which registered as FCL based on their specific domain. And then we've got generated a follow intent signal on the juice. So this means that they went ahead and followed us on uh, the juice as a brand. Now we have two brands set up on the juice, HubSpot Hacks and then Simple Strat, which is the name of our agency. So we've got two separate brands, a little bit different content, but here in uh, HubSpot, either one of those um, brands were the ones that generated the follow. So now that you know what this looks like, how can you use this information to power your sales and marketing efforts in HubSpot? Well, number one, you can create a view of all of the companies that have been created as a result of their interaction on the juice. So to do that, you're gonna to go to the drop down under the contacts tab, click on companies. And then once you're there, you're gonna use the advanced filters. And here we've got an advanced filter and the properties we're looking for are created by the juice and interacted on the juice. So if I click on created by the juice, I'm gonna say this is true, apply filter, and then that is what this looks like. So as a result of today, again, this integration as the recording of this video is fairly new. So we've got 74 companies that have been created as a result of the interaction on the juice. And again, I can save this view here by the right hand side, click save as new, and then we're going to say created by the juice. I'm gonna share it with everybody. I'm gonna click on save. And then here I've got this pin at the top. So now if I wanna take a look at or report on any of the companies that have been created as a result of the juice, I'm gonna use that property to do so. Same thing, I can also create a view of anybody who has interacted on the juice. So this might be, this is likely a lot more because there might've been people in your CRM already who were interacting on the juice. So we're going to go ahead and find interacted on the juice, click on true, click apply. And again, as you can see here, I've got 94 companies that are on, that have interacted with our content versus 74. Now a third way to use this is to train your sales team where to look for this information when they are interacting or prospecting companies. So how you would do that is again, just like we're doing here, or maybe share this part of the video with them. I bring up this company that we just showed and here in the middle of the activity feed, if you want to get that insight, you would just then again, make sure you check the box that says the integration, the juice, you would see that they interacted on here and that would give you some more information as to why. Now with this information, if I head over to HubSpot Hacks and I take this information and take it to the analytics, I could actually type in the company name FCL over here and I can search and it will show me that this director of marketing was the persona match. So that's one way to take this a little bit further. The sales and marketing efforts are here gonna to have to work together, but as a result, I've got additional insight that are going to help me power that sales enablement piece. Again, this isn't something that says, great, this person's not raised their hand and they're ready to be pitched from a sales perspective, but this gives you insight as to who the persona is that your content is resonating. Now, a fourth way to use this would be to take this company information. So we're gonna go back to that list of all of the companies, go back to contacts, companies, and created by the juice. 
And let's say you have a third-party data enrichment platform. So Zoom Info or a Seamless or Apollo. I might be able to take this entire list of companies. And if I wanted to export those, I could say, you know what, I'm going to export these folks. I'm going to export their domains. And I'm going to upload that information into one of those platforms and then run a report in those platforms of persona matches and actually use that to then build a campaign where Maybe I'm reaching out and inviting those companies to a webinar or I'm activating them with a demo request or something of that nature. Again, all of this is going to be based on the type of content you have in the juice. So keep in mind that relevance is going to be super important as you activate this data and then put it into some sort of campaign structure. Now, the fifth way to activate this content would be to take these companies and their domains, so export this list out of HubSpot again, and then upload that into an, an ad platform or something like LinkedIn, where I can then retarget these folks using a custom audience with additional content and exposure. So not only are they interacting with us on the juice, but now we can also send really great information into their newsfeed as sponsored content to increase that brand visibility. And that's one of the great things about this is we're not necessarily targeting the person, we're targeting the company, and then you can add job title as a layer on top of that to further activate this content with that integration with HubSpot. So those are your five ways to activate the integration with the juice and HubSpot. One, create a view of anybody who has interacted with the juice. Two, create a view of any company that has been created net new. Number three, you can go ahead and use that with sales enablements and sales team insights. Four, activate that information using third-party data enrichment. And then five, use that information to export and build custom audiences for your advertising platform. So that's how the Juice and the HubSpot integration works and some ways to make it work for you. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.